Happy Friday, everyone. Just wanted to record another quick video and share a little bit about what I'm seeing in the many conversations that I have. This week, I had the chance to present on sales techniques to a couple of tech incubators, the DMZ, as well as Techstars, uh, and had the chance to chat with a number of really early stage CEOs. Uh, as well, we spent a lot of time with investors and the companies they chat with are ones that are on the upswing, the ones who are scaling and raising money and hiring lots of people. So a couple of interesting trends that have come up. Um, one of the things is we've seen across the board, companies very deliberately now planning for the recovery. And so the zeitgeist, especially in the last week, has been less about um, you know, how do we manage the current situation? What changes do we need to make to quotas, compensation, and more about how do we position ourselves for success? So they're thinking about what are the types of roles they need to hire, um, how many roles they need to hire, and how do they build a good pipeline? So one of the big takeaways that I'd recommend everyone keep in mind is if you're out on the job search and you're chatting, your goal right now shouldn't necessarily be a, a role today right now, but knowing that they're going to be opening up that funnel soon. And so being at the top of their pipeline is the best way to position yourself. So think about running cadences, keeping in touch, connecting with everyone you can at the company so that you're on their radar and making sure that when they think about having a rich pipeline, that it's full of people like you. So that'd be one of the big things that I'd want to take away. Uh, second thing that I'd like to highlight is for us as a company, one of the things that's top of mind is uh, how do we make sure that we get our message out? How do we reach others? And so one of the things you might have seen us uh, announce was uh, a podcast earlier this week. Uh, we opened up the Kite Academy as well. So now it's available not just to you as the Uvaro Network, but also to the general public. Uh, and so those are our big things. What I'd ask is if you have any other thoughts on the ways that we can share our knowledge and insights with a broader audience, if you'd like to participate by joining an interview or writing a guest blog post, please reach out to me. Those are open opportunities and we'd love the opportunity to help spread your message. The last thing that I'd like to, to keep in mind and ask you to, sorry, the last thing I'd like to share and ask you to keep in mind is anything you can do to help us spread your message and amplify your signal would be really good. We talk a lot about things like LinkedIn, but that extends to other social networks as well. We've seen people get job placements from Facebook, from LinkedIn, from many channels. And so if you take the time to post things on LinkedIn, on Facebook, tag Uvaro, tag us, that will make it easier for us to comment, share, participate, and use our networks to spread your message. Uh, and that goes not just for the Uvaro staff, but also your, your classmates, your colleagues, the other alum, guest speakers, the people who join. We're helping you build a network by bringing people into the class, making ourselves available, help us help you leverage it. Uh, and that's best by sharing good content, tagging us, commenting, and making it easier for us to spread your message. So a couple of things that we're kind of shaking around. Uh, we had a great uh, happy hour meetup last night. Hopefully we'll see more of you next week. If there's anything we can do to help better support you as well, please let us know. In the meantime, happy Friday and hope you have a wonderful weekend. Ciao.